how cute you are. Maybe somebody will adopt you soon. This one's from Amazon, and it's from the Indiana Amazon. And, you know, I think the other, the other three are not from Amazon. Our, I did a Judy S. trick today, or nice thing today. Um, Judy S. always tells me when she has uh, people come to her house, delivery people or utility people, she always gives them cookies. So I gave our UPS guy two cookies today. I think he was rather surprised. Oh, be a letter, be a letter. Oh, oh, this is from Cobbis. This is who our Cobbis is named after. It says a gift um, or for all the kitties and Jackie. Yeah, love Cobbis. This is from your namesake. Oh, Here, isn't that you cute? Huh? Here, Cobbis. Yeah. What oh, yeah. did you give the UPS guys? Two cookies. Oh, that's what we got. It's worth it. I can't get that one up. We got a case of um, the chicken and tuna. And this is the plate. That's nice. We don't have very much plate. Um, chicken and tuna. Thanks, Cobbis. And this Cobbis will love it. You know, he's really, really, really a normally little dude. <laughs> and then we've got a 24-pack of the prime fillets. Which is nice. Uh, is this one the pate? The, uh, Those are fillets, oh, too. Oh, fillets. Good, good. Because uh, we've got quite a bit of, well, we have some pates, and we like to mix the pates in with the uh, bits and pieces, so that will be really nice. Kavis, what do you think? Do you think you want some of this? Aw, thanks, Kavis, on the cam. Appreciate that. Are you the carrier? Sure. <laughs> I have to finish, but <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's really, really nice. We love food. We love food here. Yeah. I'll put, put the notes right up there. Where do you want this? In the cupboard? Mm -hmm. Or in the left closet. That's what I mean. Yeah, on the left even. There's room. This one's a light one. This one's kind of a medium light one. Isn't he wonderful? Yeah, his tongue tickles. Did his tongue tickle you? <laughs> this one says Harleysville, Pennsylvania. I don't, um, it doesn't say like a, what, uh-oh. See, Kurt has to come back soon to keep track of my box cutters for me. Let's see who this one's from. Oh, this is from, from Anna. From Anna. Oh, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. You know, I think you guys have been keeping us in supply of these. These are those cat, cat wipes. We have some out on the counter now. Gosh, it's been probably a couple years ago we got a couple of these. And I just... I never really had used them very much and didn't realize how wonderful they are. And then what, like six months ago, we got them out and started earnestly using them for all of our eye wipes. And today we use them for um, kitties' uh, feet wipes and little bottom wipes, all those kind of things. And they're wonderful. You know, there's, uh, how many is in each of these? hundred in each of these. But we're going through them because we all the volunteers like them now. It's so much nicer than using up all the washcloths and having to wash all those. Hey, what's this? Did they send a kitty too? <laughs> I did something for you guys all because you guys were all, I yeah, noticed were saying that. Oh, you can put Cobbis down right there. That you couldn't tell McCallan and um, uh, Cinnabon apart. So we did the tail trim oh, yeah. trick. Now stop. The flat tip is uh, McCallan. Oh, stop. You're here. You want the box? You can have it. Here, maybe, maybe put Cobbis in there. So, thank you, Anna. I appreciate that very, very, very much. We really like the um, grooming wipes. Yeah. I think it was two days ago we used the last one in the box that was previous to the one we're using now. And one of the volunteers asked, you know, where did we have any more? She didn't think we had any more here. And we did. Wow, this one's really wrapped good. 
You know, and they, I, I just like those. Have you ever used those? Those grooming, grooming ones for your doggies or anything? No, I don't have any doggies. I love them. Yeah. See, yeah. Brenda says she loves them. Thank you very much. Yeah. They're a lot easier than the white paws. They are, and I don't think they're as rough, no. rough either. I almost stuck my finger in there. I felt, I felt that one. Okay, here we go. What is in this? Box? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, hope there's a card. Okay, some, uh, you just have to forgive me. So I know, I know this, I know this was coming, um, because I got an email, so I, I will have to go back in and check my email, or if you know who sent Bella a bad, maybe you can put it on the can you, Brenda, can you go check on the chat line and see if somebody says who they, no, if, if not, I've got it in my email. This is a really nice bed. And what do we do? How do we do this? Oh, they oh, yeah, you can add hot water to it. That do? Behave. Yeah, that or so, you, so it's good for a cooler and a heater. You know, Bella will really, really, really like this. She loves beds and soft things. And heck, even without, even if you didn't put water in that, it's really squishy, isn't it? Uh, we'll we'll get this set up tonight. Yeah, a pool. <laughs> yeah, a, a pool bed, isn't it? Does it say, Brenda? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to look at my email. I'm so sorry that I can't remember, but you can put hot water in it. Yeah. We need one of these. I know, it's a hot water bed. Yeah. We yeah. need these for our beds. Be Bella will love that. You know, yesterday when we put Bella in June's room, she's got one bed in there that she particularly liked. And uh, she went over to it, and she s I watched her from the door. I didn't bother her. I just watched to see what she was going to do. And she sat there on her bed probably for four or five minutes just sniffing, sniffing, sniffing all of it. And... Uh, it was like she was making sure that that was her bed again. So we can put that ooh, that mattress inside her special bed that she likes. Um, I'll look it up on my email, and I'm so sorry. I can't remember. My brain is bad. Bad. I, I try so hard to remember things, and oh, sometimes I don't remember it all. Just like today, I forgot to put Canton's gift from yesterday in the blog, so we added it. And this one, well, let's see if there's a note or something in there. If not, we'll look at that paper again. Who does? We need to go to the bathroom to dry. Oh, man. It says, oh, this is from Classy Cat. It says, hi, Jackie and all. Here is the marshmallow pillow I promised to send to Bella. Tell her to guard it well. And you all know how Bella loves her marshmallow pillows. Here are some people treats, too. Halloween is the best time of the year for candy. Thank you for having the sound on more often for us viewers. I really like it on the weekend when I'm not working. Thanks to all, and get well, Bella. Annette uh, or Classy Cat. I see. This is what you were talking about. You know what? I did this also, Classy Cat, to one of mine um, marshmallow beds. I have used one of these as the, the dome for it. for you? Yeah. And so the way I understood it, Classy Cat, Cat didn't like the marshmallow bed, so we get to benefit from it. Oh, that's yeah, that's oh, really, that's that, this is great. Yeah, we'll put we'll fix that up in Bella's room too. And do you want to just put it in the hallway for now? I will tell your kitties thank you, Classy Cat. We're sorry about that for her kitties, but happy for us. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Bazooka gum, yum! We love that. And the nerds. Oh, the Twix. Um, well, you all know 
Judy S. loves the gum, as my daughter Karen does. And then the Twix, I think it's great, one of Greg's favorites. Snickers is lots of their favorite. M&M's is everybody's favorite. And the peanut, peanut one. And I'm, I would hide this one, but they already, I think, saw it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> Kelly's the one. Kelly's the one. What we do with these is, some of you might have seen us do this, we take all of our candy like this and then we cut, them, cut the bags open and throw them down on the yellow table and we mix them all together. And with this load here, I have enough to do it again. And then we rebag them up into smaller, oh, you know, like a clump of them, enough to fit our drawer over there. And then we get a variety every time we pull another bag out to fill the drawer. So thank you, Classy Cat, for the people treat and the marshmallow bed and the form that it fits in. So that is cool. And can you put that in a recycle bowl? I saw some holes in those, so we might as well recycle them. Okay, oh. wow. So we got lots of good stuff. Um, so thank you to Anna for the for the kitty wipes. We love those. And um, for in whoops, where's her? Where's that other card? And for Cabas for all the food. That's cool. And for the beds. And where is? This one. We're gonna we'll put this up tonight. And I know I have the names for for whoever did this one. I'm so sorry I can't remember. So we'll get that. Um, we've got some couple stories to tell, and we'll have to hang this um, classic cats paper in there too with everybody else. Yeah. So we've got some some things to go over. And uh, just to let you know, the volunteers today was Judy S. this morning, Judy, my sister, and then Brenda, and Dorothy, Martha L. You see Martha here a lot, thank goodness. And uh, they're wonderful. We're still number one in the animal rescue site. I think we went down just one point, and so did the second place one, but in the state one, we went up. So we're still, we still got a nice little, little lead. So please, please keep up your, your voting. And I'm Sabrina and Canton Cat, I, I'm sorry I added your post late yet today about the gift that you gave the rescue center. I know what it was. I put all of these papers like this that we get in my desk. And um, I have a paper thief. And I, I found it. Now I know what it was. It was a chewed up pile of uh, paper. That was by the desk this morning. <laughs> Oops, I'm Vera. Vera. Or Vera. Actually, I'm not sure, but I think oh, yeah. it's um, Octavia doing that also. Sorry. Sorry, Vera. And Bella has two more letters. This is Blondie, Zoe, and Little Bit. This comes from Archibald, Ohio. Oh, I think this must be... Um... And Mommy Jim, that's who I thought. Says, Bella, we were watching the cam over Mommy's shoulder. Aw, Jim and I is our mom, and we heard you weren't feeling well. We sure hope you are in tip-top shape really soon. We can't wait to see you back to your old self, scooting around FFRC, helping Potter keep those pesky babies in line. Much love, many prayers for a speedy recovery, and kitty hugs and kisses. Blondie, Zoe, and Little Bit, and Mommy Jim, too. Isn't that nice? It says relax. Rest, relax, and restore. Aw. See this kitty? You could pretend this is Bella. And this kitty here leaning over, this is how um, uh, Weasley is with Bella. We'll hang that up in, in her room, too. Thank you, Gemini and babies. Baby kitties. And this one is Friends of Felines Rescue Center from Lafayette, Tennessee. Lafayette, Tennessee. Oh, this is also for Bella. 
It says, so your get up and go just got up and went. <laughs> and it's a real cute kitty on the front. And it says, Bella, hope you're soon back to 100%. Take care and get well soon. Hope you are well very soon. A big fan of FFRC. And this is from Beverly G. Then in Lafayette, Tennessee. And she says, this was our Bella who passed away a few years ago. She was 14 years old. So we have another Bella out there. So this is Beverly's Bella. Looks like a Farah. She was 14. Fair. Thank you. We were starving. Fair. Thank you, Beverly, for for sh for uh, the card. We'll put that up you in her room. Tea? You got the tape, and for Gemini and her baby. Was hungry. Oh, poor Farah. Do you want to hang this up and then maybe put okay. that above it? It does look. It it does look like Farah. No Bella. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. She can, but if you feed her and stay in there for a few minutes, you can take her, just unhook the collar, or which one does she have on? We've been using a variety of her collars for different times of the day, depending on what we're doing with her. A lot of you already know, and this is the really, really cool news, um, Nova, Bettina, and Marja were adopted. All three are little picks paid off. They kept all three, which I think is awesome, and they're all doing really good. They could not decide or make that decision to, to send one back. So um, three is only one more than what they always had. So they were they were tickled, and it sounds like the cats are doing really good, all three of them, um, lounging on the couches and the chairs and the bed already. So I think it's going to be a really cool mix there. Remember, Mitty, and I mentioned this to you a few days ago, and then again like two weeks ago, hasn't happened yet, but the family that adopted Mitty still is interested in one more Can cat. Um, and they're going to, on oh, this one, they're going to let me pick this one. So I that, that'll be, that's kind of fun for me to do. I don't get to do that very often. So um, when they give me the go-ahead, we'll do it, and I'll go through our notebook and kind of figure out who will be good for a Mitty. What will that like? Bella's been eating on the packets in there. Yeah, those, the whisker packets with a little baby food mixed in. She heard her name. She, <laughs> yeah, she's the one sitting right at the door. She wants to um, Nuki. Nuki. We have a Nuki web camera and we have a Nuki kitty. And I had written down Nuki's name a long time what? ago as a web camera <laughs> that I, I like that name. Yeah. And so I, I knew sometime I would like to use that for a kitty name. <laughs> And so when I talked or emailed Nuki the human, she said one of the requirements was it had to be a fearless kitty. Mm -hmm. And so this kitty, when I'll bring her out and show her to you, I definitely think must be a fearless kitty because she went through a lot of misery before she got here and she's doing really good. But this is um, Nuki the web camera story that she mailed me. Um, she says, Hi, Jackie. Well, I must say that I am honored and tickled to death that you have named our, your newest FFRC resident, Nuki. I want you to know that if that name has the power of my 14-year-old Nuki behind it, this little female will not just survive, she will thrive. She will face down any and all challenges against her and come out stronger than ever. The new Nuki will seem fragile, but will instead possess an indomitable strength of will. Nuki, her Nuki was hit by a car when she was three years old, missing for six days, but finally showed up at her house with a broken pelvis and broken hip. After surgery, she healed in five weeks when the vet said it would take at least eight to ten weeks. She will seem small and insecure, but instead, instead be huge of heart and confident in her place in this world. And the really charming thing I hope you get to experience, as her, as my Nuki does, some of her spirit to your Nuki, is that all of the boys will adore her, and they won't know why. Uh, my Nuki loves nearly every human male she meets, and know that all of the strays that have ever shown up at my house since her arrival have all been males. Not one female has ever had the wherewithal to encroach on my Nuki's queendom. So you better warn Kurt, Paul, and your husband Steve, and Putter, and the Patties, and Cabas, and, well, all the males that this new Nuki will be wrapping them around her adorable paw as soon as it is healed. And then she says, thanks again for all your compassion for the cats. 
And then in parentheses, and chickens too. Sorry, Connie, for sharing so much of yourself with us and for this particular gift of naming one of your newest residents after my favorite cat in the whole world. And this is from Nuki Mom. So let me get you um, Nuki, FFRC Nuki Kitty. We tested her this morning. She's negative. So um, this is our new Nuki. And uh, just to let you know, Kurt Racer did not get to come home today. But he is coming home tomorrow. He had a lot to do yet today. And so he emailed me, told me that he wouldn't be done with the things he needed to do till like 5, I think he said. Then by the time he got back home, it would be like 9. So he's just going to wait till tomorrow morning to come home. And uh, CJ, our kitty cat, the gray, do the dark slate gray one, is doing so much better. She really hasn't come out of her pen too much, but the door is left open all day. The other kitties, of course, go in and out, in and out, and she does fine with them. Uh, but she's eating better. We've groomed her out again. She looks pretty. She, you can tell she's filling out. And I'll just get her for you so you can see her too. Here she is. Oh, and see, she's purring already. This is CJ the cat. See, she's, you can't maybe can't tell from there, but she's got a little bitty baby tummy on this skinny little cat body of hers. Are you done? She's the one that's a polydactyl with the extra toes. They had the toenails uh, curled and growing into her pad. Can't imagine how bad that must have hurt. Makes me sad. And CJ, of course, is named after another webcammer. CJ. And happy birthday to Blue. Um, that's really cool. I'm, I'm glad you got so many birthday wishes on the webcam. We did, a, I got a pet finder report just before we came on tonight. And for last week, we had one of our all-time highs. We had 2,195 hits on pet finders. And then what they do is they list the top cats. Uh, they rank them according to uh, how many uh, individual hits each cat has. And the, the top 
cat in here is Badu, had the highest. And then it was Kaba, the ornery little white, white and black kitty. Number three was Tasco. Number four was uh, Chaplin. Five was Burka. Six was Gonzo. And seven is Emmeline. I was so glad to see Emmeline up there so high. And then all the rest of them, you know, they all got some markings on them. But Badu, Cabas, Tasco, Chaplin, Burka, Gonzo, and Emmeline had the top seven, which I thought was pretty cool. Tomorrow morning, uh, I think it's 9.30. We have a lady, her uh, first name is Jeanette coming she's about an hour away and is going to come and adopt or hopefully will adopt she's very very interested in Merci and Merci next month in November would have been here a whole year so I'm really happy about that one too then we had some questions um, Jack asked about do they want an update on Bella? we want an update on she Bella like she ate like a little pig hey and last night we did a volunteer we did a volunteer um Profile uh -uh. and guess who should do it tonight? No, that's no, right. No. Oh, come on, Martha. Tell us why, how you found us, and how long you've been here. Well, I've been here forever. Forever. Uh, <laughs> be seven in March or April, something like last last March or April was seven. Seven years. How did I know? I don't know. I've always known you. She's <laughs> always been here. It seems like I've always known, I've always known you, mm -hmm. but. I don't know. I just always knew. Martha is awesome in that. There you go, sweetheart. She, when we had the Earth Angel Clinic all those years, you were one. Were you out there all the years mm -hmm. we were there? That's wow. why I know how I started. I started wow. right before it opened. Okay. Martha was a volunteer there um, every week. She would come and do the Wednesday? No, Thursday. Thursday night after the clinic would close on Thursday. She would go in and clean. Um, the clinic up for us to get it ready then for the next Tuesday and Kathy did it a lot of a long time too on Wednesday nights and then and Brenda did it on and Tuesday. Brenda yeah Brenda, Brenda did left it. oh Brenda the Brenda's already left the Brenda that's here tonight she always did it on the Tuesday, Wednesday Tuesday, Tuesday night. night Tuesday mm -hmm. night oh gosh how fast I forget and um so but back to Martha and in addition to Martha doing Earth Angels She's worked Tuesday night forever here, it seems like. And then Sunday... Well, that was my night. That's where that I was, started. That, this mm -hmm. is your night. Mm -hmm. And that's how a lot of the volunteers do. They pick one night and that's... Or one time of the of the week, and that's their time slot. Martha also is he, here either every Sunday or Monday morning, and she does what we call the total wipe down. She goes from ceiling to floor. Everything in here is wiped down. And... Uh, we jokingly always ask each time what the snot report is. <laughs> I was at her yesterday. I was asking her, what's the snot report so I know how much sneezing we may or may not have. And Dorothy, Dorothy, they were asking, uh, how, can I ask you how old you are? How old? 80, 80, 86. I was wrong. I said 84. Isn't that girl, awesome? Girl. 86. And you've been here how long? It'll be seven years. Seven years About this year coming year. summer. Yeah. Let's see. And I, I raised my granddaughter here. Yep. Kelly yep. always came when she could barely walk and yep. always used to go out and Yep, Kelly's yeah. been here forever. <laughs> and Dorothy and so always Josh come. Yeah. She's been here since she was two she years was, old. Yeah. yeah. It was unique since she was yeah. four. Jossie was here before yeah. she was born. Yeah. Remember? I remember. I remember when you were a baby. Remember when Jackie used to put you in the cages to sleep? Yeah. To take your naps to keep yeah. the cats off of you all oh, the time? Kelly wasn't quite that, but uh, she would have been two. Yeah. yeah. She would have been two. We've had a few babies that come that are here a lot, baby babies. And when moms are working and babies are sleepy, we've been very well known to put them in a cage to, so they could sleep in I peace. I remember that day you put Jocelyn in the pen out in the clinic and Brenda came in to clean <laughs> and she goes is that a baby and you said no that's a cat <laughs> yeah oh we have fun so back to back to Jack Cat's question on George um, George came here in May May 14th of 07 he was a year and a half then we've got his birthday down as January 1506 so this coming January he'll be 
she's just six years old. Mm -hmm. And, you know, believe it or not, when George first came here, um, he was nothing but a bag of bones. I, I was... Uh, I was helping the shelter at that time, and in there, I went into their euthanasia room, which which is sad. But I mean, I would go in there and pet and and um, visit. And uh, there was George, and I opened the cage, and he come right over, and I I just had to take him. I just had to bring him here. So he was just all silly and goofy and so skinny and ate and ate and ate. Oh my goodness, that boy never quit eating, which you can tell now because he's nothing but a tank. He's huge. But golly, I don't know, three years ago is when he started very, very small amount of um, this little eat away kind of thing. I don't know what, we, we never have really placed a name on it, on his nose. And over the these last couple of years, it just it's a slow, slow progression. It, it was that thought one time to be some kind of a cancer form and or immune problem that he has. It has slowly um, gotten bigger now where it's kind of come down on his cheeks and it's way up to his eyes. Um, it doesn't seem to bother him at all. I, my biggest concern with George for this winter is the cold. Um, because it has gotten deeper, there's not a lot we can do. We give them, um, we do give them steroids every once in a while when it really flares up, and then it puts it back into a real slow moving thing or growing thing again. So uh, I, that's the other reason I'm thrilled to have Kitty City going to be so much warmer this this winter is uh, for for um, George's or Curious George's his name uh, for his nose. Uh, Frank is on, and Frank says that Tukey is great and wonderful, and we're happy, happy to hear that. Um, Racer, oh, Birds asked about Racer's cats. They really miss him. Oh, my goodness, those guys are such babies. Uh, Dugster is here, there, and everywhere in the house playing, but his other two, the other two crypto babies, they spend a lot of time upstairs. Um, they're doing good. They'll be thrilled to see him tomorrow morning. Uh, Mish Mishka Scotty asked to see Weasley. Let me get Weasley. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Oh, now you're going to fly. Now you're going to fly. I know. Now you're going to fly. Oh, my goodness. This one is Dulcie. This is the one we had before Weasley. And this is Weasley. And I'm telling you, he loves Bella. He just loves Bella. Sleeps right up next to Bella, cuddles, and Bella's still giving him baths today. Tukey, we've left, or not Tukey, but Dulcie, we've left um, run around quite a bit this afternoon and this morning. And he was just here, there, and everywhere, and he has gained a few more ounces, so we're happy about that. But we'll get Bella's beds all ready tonight, and she's going to love both those new beds. And uh, we'll see. Weasley is a whiner. Yes, you are. Are you a whiner? Yes, I know it. Do you love me, though? You better answer me. <laughs> or do you love me? Here we go. That was a yes. Yes, Mama. He was sharing Bella's food. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go find your Mama. Let's go find your cat, Mama. <laughs> on the wall. So, Weasley is doing great. He's got a good set of lungs in there. Um, Deborah and Michelin both asked about Putter's tail. Do we know where Putter is? Did you see his tail? What's the matter with his tail? Well, unless he got that thing off. This morning, um, Judy S. was grooming him. He had a really bad knot in his tail, so she was working it out. And all of a sudden, he, he left out a bigger cry, and we discovered why. He's got a laceration is probably about this big. It's real skinny, though, and it's towards the tip of his tail. It was quite raw and sore looking, and it hurt. It hurt him. So I hated to do it, but to get something like that to heal good, you have to get the hair out of the, out of the laceration or the sore. So I clipped a fairly decent amount of hair away. I hated to do that to him. Aww. So... Come here, you poor oh, little baby. Yeah. So we we uh, oh. it's 
He's right down here. He's got gauze and it's packed with antibiotic ointment. And we had to, unfortunately, take it all the way up because if not, you know how he pushes and flashes his tail, he would have had it off. Actually, we'll probably take this off tonight to leave it air and then look at it again in the morning. Um, so that's what happened to Putter Boy. We're not sure exactly what caused that. All we know is the results, and it's it's a it's a sore. It's probably at least two and a half inches long. Really? Mm -hmm. It looks very raw and very sore. Very raw. He's not telling. He says, "I'll take care of that person, that cat, though." Well, I know. <laughs> when he's better, he says, "I'm going to whack the heck out of the cat that did it to him." Uh, Queen asked, I can, whoops, wait a minute. Oh, gosh, i got to take better notes. Um, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> Queen asked about Duncan, that why is she he so frisky to Danae? Well, that's simple, because Danae is beautiful. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know why Duncan does that. He's been neutered for a long time, and he just thinks he's the hottest thing here, and he just thinks Danae is the cutest thing here, and he does get a little imp improper attitude sometimes to, oh to Danae. I don't know why. Uh, um, it's a dominant thing, and we just try to discourage it, hide the kids' eyes. Um, Bird asked about Martha L., and we got to do Martha here. Jack Hat asked um, about you yes we love you asked about the fishnets this morning well you know those three barred rock chickens that I have I have like 30 some chickens on the farmyard but these three continually hop over the fence and get in the backyard and that was okay in the summertime but now that it's getting kind of icky weather they've decided to inhabit the sun porch and if you've ever seen what chickens can do in one night, even one chicken, well, multiply it by three in the sun porch, and there's chicken poopy and feathers everywhere in there. And that's the room, that's the little area where you go through to get to the clinic. So I just, we can't do that. So we found a home form. Remember, Jackie, yes, the other um, Jackie here is a volunteer. She took them home, and on the third day, they brought them back real quick because they had decided there to roost on their almost new car, which you don't want chicken poop on paint because it'll ruin it. So they came back. We put them back there on the farmyard again for days. Usually if you coop up a chicken for a couple of days, they kind of take that area as their home, but they came back up again. So right now, um, well, Judy S. and I went out with the chicken, with the nets, and we caught them. And because uh, they're wise to me now, they see me coming and they would just take off because they knew I was keep, kept on catching them. But they're back there in, in a pen now, and I'm hoping in the next couple of days that we have a really good home for them. It's inside a barn. I hope it works out, but they're going to stay back there, and one way or the other, I'm going to get a new home for them, a good home. I've turned down a couple homes, um, but we want, we want a really good home for these three girls. They're wonderful chickens. They're really, really friendly. Uh, Michelin asked about Steve and Kellen. I don't. I did not talk to Karen today, so I don't have. Which is rare. I don't have an update on Kellen. But Steve got his brace today. It's just to stabilize his knee so that the remaining fairly good ligament in there does not get any more damaged until whenever he does have his surgery. We still are up in the air now. Today was supposed to be a surgery day, but was canceled because of all the mess up about workman's comp. Very aggravating. Frank asked about my, my dad and my mom. Mom's doing good. Dad um, had a fun day. Paul was out there today, spent probably five hours out there raking and mowing and taking down a tree that had uh, fallen and just did some winter care. Dad always loves talking to Paul. So I think it was a good day for my dad. He likes to have Paul come out. And Nick Aroos asked, what kind of bird is Einstein? He's an eclectus bird. I think, I'd have to look it up, but I think like this winter, he will be three years old, I believe. Um, so, I think, I think I got it covered. Oops, what's this? Oh, that's the candy. Oh, my goodness. So, we'll, um, I might have to turn off the audio for a little bit, but then tonight I'll set up the playground very shortly. 
turn the audio back on. Tomorrow is Thursday. We'll try to leave the cam, the audio on some in the morning. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Are you sure? He stays on vacation this week, so I'm totally messed up. <laughs> You know, get me out of my big major. Steve gets a couple vacations a week uh, or a year, and it just totally messes my days up. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh, we could probably leave the audio on quite a bit tomorrow. So um, we'll do that as much as we can. And thank you for all the gifts tonight. You guys are awesome. Couldn't do this without you guys. We And anybody that can visit, please come. We love to have visitors. We love it. Um, we want you to come. It would be really cool. So uh, thank you for everything. We're going to get Bella's beds ready, and we'll get the audio back on if we do have to turn it off here. I want to I want to get the directions on this and uh, do that. I start out organized, and then I throw all my paper together. There it is.